Mr. Speaker, I rise today to defend the Constitution and avert a constitutional crisis. I rise, Mr. Speaker, to defend democracy. I rise to protect the republic. I rise to prevent a constitutional crisis that would be created should any rogue president attempt to pardon himself. Let me be clear, Mr. Speaker. I do not believe that a president can pardon himself, can self-pardon. The ability to pardon is the ability to forgive. I do not believe that a president can forgive himself for crimes committed. I do not believe that the Constitution allows a president to forgive himself for the most egregious crimes barred by our laws. I do not believe that a president could pardon himself, forgive himself for the crime of treason. I do not believe that this country would allow such a thing to exist, and if a president attempted to do it, we'd have a constitutional crisis. So I rise today to prevent a constitutional crisis. I don't believe that the Constitution would allow it, but I want to prevent the crisis should some rogue president attempt it. So, Mr. Speaker, I have a simple amendment to the Constitution that would avert this crisis. It reads, the president shall have no power to grant to himself a reprieve or pardon for an offense against the United States. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of the great and noble American ideals that we hold dear and that we protect with everything that is near and dear to us. We use our very bodies to protect it. Our men and women will go to distant places, and many of them don't return the same way they left, to protect these noble and great American ideals. These ideals would be put at risk if some rogue president decided to pardon himself. We would have a constitutional crisis. I am honored, Mr. Speaker, to say that this amendment will be filed later today, and there are two other members of Congress that I am proud to have associated with me and this amendment. They are the Honorable Brad Sherman and the Honorable Seth Moulton. We are filing this amendment not because we believe that a president can self-pardon, but because if some president attempted to do it, this amendment would be there for us to act expeditiously and to prevent it. Mr. Speaker, this is the solution that I hope we never have to use. I pray that this amendment never has to be pushed through, but I am so proud to have it there in the event it is needed. And I yield back the balance of my time.